قل أوحي إلي أنه استمع نفر من الجن فقالوا إنا سمعنا قرآنا عجبا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته May the peace, mercy and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be with you all. Good morning. My name is Paul Pili, Haji Ahmad Israfil, and I am hoping that I will, or I am striving rather, to memorize the Holy Quran. And because of that, I am now in my 15th and 16th day. No? This is my 15th and 16th day because uh, I did not have a live in my, uh, on my uh, no, 15th day. So all that I've memorized uh, in the two days will be recited here. So those of you who, who wants to be exercised, you may be, uh, no, you may you may be my guest no? you may be my guest just uh, request to be my guest and uh, we will exercise you after reading the Quran in Arabic or reciting the Quran in Arabic and it's uh, English translation okay let's recite the Surah al Kalam. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والقلم وما يسترون ما أنت بنعمة ربك بمجنون وإنك لأجرا غير ممنون وإنك لعلى كلك أضيف فَسَتُبْصِرُ وَيُبْصِرُونَ بِأَيِّكُمُ الْمَفْتُونَ إِنَّ رَبَّكَ هُوَ عَلَّمُ بِمَنْ ذَلَّ أَنْ سَبِيلِهِ وَهُوَ عَلَّمُ بِالْمُهْتَدِينَ فلا تطع المكذبين وذو لو تدهنوا فيدهنون ولا تطع كل هلاف مهين هماز ماشيا سَتِيرُ الْأَوَّلِينَ 
sanasimuhu ala al-kurtum sanasimuhu ala al-kurtum inna balawnahum kama balawna ashab al-jannah ashab al-jannah Nati id aksamu la yasrimun naha musbihin Wa la yastathnun Fatu'afa alayha ta'ipun min rabbika wa hum na'imun Fa'asbahat kasorin Fatanadaw musbihin Anigdu ala harthikum In kuntum sorimin Fantalagu wa hum yatakafatun An la yadkul أن لا يدكلن اليوم عليكم مسكين وقضوا على أرض قادرين فلما رأوها قالوا إن لظالون بل نحن مهروم قال أوسطهم ألم أكن لكم لولا تسب لولا تسبحون قالوا سبحان ربنا إن كنا ظالمين فأقبل بعدهم على بعد يتلاومون قالوا يا ويلنا ها إنا كنا طاغين عسى ربنا عسى ربنا يبدلنا خيرا منها إنا إلى ربنا راغبون كذلك الأذاب كذلك الأذاب والعذاب الآكرة أكبر لو كانوا يعلمون إن للمتقين تقين عند ربهم جنات النعيم أبا نزأل المسلمين كالمجرمين ما لكم كيف تحكمون أم لكم كتاب في أم لكم كتاب فيه تدرسون إن لكم فيه لما تخيرون أم لكم أيمان علينا بالغة إلى يوم القيامة إلى يوم القيامة إلى يوم القيامة إن لكم لما لما تخون أم لكم أيمان علينا بالغة إلى يوم القيامة إلى يوم القيامة إن لكم لما تخون سلهم أيهم بذلك زيم أم لهم شركاء أم لهم شركاء فليأتوا بشركائهم إن كانوا صادقين 
Yaw, yaw matuk siya po an sa kiyo, sa kiyo ayudaw na ila sujudi pa palayas tatiwan. Kasiyatan absaruhum tarhakuhum dillah. Wakadakkanu yudaw na ila sujudi pa. Sujudi wa hum salimun Fadarni wa man Yukadribu bihada al-hadith Sanastadrijuhum min Haithu la ya'lamun Wa umli lahum Inna kaydi matin Am tas aluhum azran pahum min magramim muskalun. Am indahum al-ghaib pahum yaktubun. Pas berli hukmi rabbika walatakum kasahibil. Pasber li hukmi rabbika walatakum ka sahibil hud Idna addawahu wa makzum Lawla, lawla antad Lawla antadarakak Lawla antadaraku Lawla antadarakahu ni'matum min rabbihi Min rabbihi la Lanubidal arai wa huwa majnum Pajstabahu Rabbuhu Pajalahu minas salihin Wa iya kadul ladhina kafaru La yazlikun naka bi absarihim Absarihim lamma sami'u al-dhikra Wa yakuluna innahu la majnu وَمَا هُوَ إِلَّا ذِكْرٌ لِلْعَالَمِينَ الحمد لله رب العالمين So that is Surah Al-Kalam If I committed mistakes Allah Alam And if you notice my mistakes Please you comment But please specify on what time For example one minute and two seconds like that so that I may also correct my uh, reading or recitation or memorization of the Holy Quran so this is Surah Al-Qalam Surah Al-Qalam means uh, the pen Anulat Lapis, Bullpen, Pentel Pen Qalam means the pen Noon Anun, it is a letter in the Arabic alphabet Noon It is a letter in the Arabic alphabet And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Says in the Holy Quran Noon In which it is only Allah Who knows the real meaning Why he Of the letter Noon Shall I say وَالْقَلَمِ وَمَا يَسْتُرُونَ By the pen and by what the angels write and the records of men. مَا أَنْتَ بِنِعْمَةِ رَبِّكَ بِمَجْنُونَ You, O Muhammad, by the grace of your Lord, standard of character. فَزَتُبْسِرُوا وَيُبْسِرُونَ You will see and they will see. 
بِأَيِّكُمُ الْمَفْتُونَ Which of you is afflicted with madness? إِنَّا رَبَّكَ هُوَ عَنْ سَبِيلِ وَهُوَ عَلَمُ بِالْمُحْتَدِينَ Verily, your Lord is the best knower of him who has gone astray from his path. And he is the best knower of those who are guided. فَلَا تُطِعِ الْمُكَذِّبِينَ So, O Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, obey. Obey you not the deniers of Islamic monotheism. Those who belie the verses of Allah, the oneness of Allah, and the messengership of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَذُّوا لَوْ تُدْهِنُوا فَيُدْهِنُونَ They wish that you should compromise in religion out of courtesy with them, so they too would compromise with you. وَلَا تُطِعِ الْمُكَذِّبِينَ وَلَا تُطِعْ كُلَّ هَلَّا فِي مَّهِينَ And O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, obey you not everyone halaf mahin, the one who swears much and is a liar. Or is worthless. Hamazin masyain binamim, a slanderer going about with calumnies. Man na ilil khairi mo ta din nasim. Hinderer of the good, transgressor, sinful. Uthulim ba'da dhali ghazanim. Cruel and moreover, base born of illegitimate birth. An ka na dha mali wa banin. He was so because he had wealth and children. إِذَا تُتْلَ عَلَيْهِ آيَاتُنَا قَالَ أَسَاتِيرُ الْأَوَّلِينَ When our verses of the Qur'an are recited to him, he says tales of the men of old. سَنَسِمُهُ عَلَى الْكُرْتُونَ We shall brand him on the snout nose. Inna balawnahum kama balawna ashab al-jannah Ashab al-jannati id aqsamu la yasrimunna musbeen Verily, we have tried them as we tried the people of the garden when they swore to pluck the fruits of the garden in the morning. وَلَا يَسْتَثْنُونَ Without saying, inshallah, if Allah wills. فَتَافُ عَلَيْهَا طَائِفٌ مِّن رَبِّكَ وَهُمْ نَائِمُونَ then there passed by on the garden of visitation, fire from your Lord at night, and burned it while they were asleep. So the garden became black by the morning, like a pitch dark night in complete ruins. Then they called out one to another as soon as the morning broke. Anigdu ala arthikum in kuntum sorimin Saying, go to your tilt. In the morning, if you would pluck the fruits. 
So they departed, conversing in secret low tones, saying, Allah miskin. No miskin, poor man shall enter upon you into it today. Wagada walal din qadirin And they went in the morning with strong intention thinking that they have power to prevent the poor taking anything of the fruits therefrom Palamma ra'aw ha qalu inna ladallun But when they saw the garden they said, Verily, we have gone astray. Then they said, Nay, indeed, we are deprived of the fruits. The best among them said, Did I not tell you why? Say you not, Inshallah, if Allah wills. Qalu subhana rabbina inna kunna zalimin They said glory to our Lord verily we have been zalimun wrong do Qalu subhana rabbina inna kunna zalimin They said glory to our Lord Verily, we have been zalimun, wrongdoers. Pa'agbala ba'aduhum ala ba'di yatalawamun Then they turned one against another, blaming. Qalu subhana rabbina inna kunna pogin they said, Who to us? Verily, we, we were taghun, transgressors and disobedient. Asa Rabbuna, Asa Rabbuna, Yubdilana khairam minha, Inna ila Rabbina rogibu. We hope that our Lord will give us in exchange a better garden than this. Truly we turn to our Lord wishing for good that He may forgive our sins and reward us in the hereafter. Kadhalika al Kadhalika al-adhabu wa la-adhabu al-akhirati akbar Law kanu ya'lamun Such is the punishment in this life But truly the punishment of the hereafter is greater if they but knew In inna lil muttaqina inda rabbihim jannatin na'im Verily, for the mutakku muttakun, the pious and the pious and gardens of delight, paradise with their Lord. Abanaz alul muslimin kal mudzrimin. Shall we then treat the Muslims, believers of Islamic monotheism, doers of righteous deeds like the mudzrimun? Criminals, polytheists, and disbelievers. Malakum kaifatahkumun. What is the matter with you? How judge you? Am lakum kitabun fi tadrusun. Or have you a book? Or have you a book wherein you learn? Inna lakum fihi lama dhakhayyarun That you shall therein have all that you choose 
أم لكم أيمان علينا بالغت إلى يوم القيامة إلى يوم القيامة إن لكم لما تحكمون Or have you oath from us reaching to the day of resurrection that yours will be what you judge? سألهم أيهم بذلك زين Ask them which of them will stand surety for that أم لهم شركاء فليعتوا بالشركائهم إن كانوا صادقين Or have they partners? Then let them bring their partners if they are truthful. Yawma yukshapu an saki wa yudauna ila sujudi fala yastati'un. Remember the day when the sheen shall be laid bare. The day of resurrection. And they shall be called to prostrate themselves to Allah. But the hypocrites shall not be able to do so. Kashiyatan nabsarum tarhakuhum dillah. Wakal kano yudauna ila sujudi wahum salimun. Their eyes will be cast down and ignominy will cover them. They used to be called to prostrate themselves over prayers while they were healthy and good in the life of the world, but they did not. Fadarni wa may yukadhibu bihada alladhiti فَذَرْنِي وَمَنْ يُكَذِّبُ بِهَذَا الَّذِي حَدِيثِ سَنَسْتَدْرِجُهُمْ مِنْ هَيْتُ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Then leave me alone with such as belay this Quran. We shall punish them gradually from directions they perceive not. وَأُمْلِ لَهُمْ إِنَّ كَيْدِ مَتِينَ And I will grant them a respite. Verily, my plan is strong. أَمْ تَسْأَلُهُمْ أَزْرًا فَهُمْ مِنْ مَغْرَمٍ مُثْقَلُونَ Or is it that you, O Muhammad, صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَالسَّلَامُ Ask them a wage so that they are heavily burdened with debt. Am indahumul ghaib fa'um yaktubun Or that the ghaib, the unseen here in this verse, it means Allah wi al-ma'fuj, is in their hands so that they can write it down. فَاسْبِرْ لِحُكْمِ رَبِّكَ وَلَا تَكُونْ وَلَا تَكُونْ كَصَاهِبِ الْهُوتِ كَصَاهِبِ الْهُوتِ إِذْ نَادَّا وَهُوَ مَقْذُومٌ So wait with patience for the decision of your Lord and be not like the companion of the fish when he cried out to us while he was in deep sorrow. لَوْلَا أَن تَدَارَكَهُ نِعْمَةٌ مِّن رَبِّهِ لَا نُبِذَا بِالْأَرَاءِ وَهُوَ مَدْمُومٌ Had not a grace from his Lord reached him, he would indeed have been left in the stomach of the fish. But we forgave him, so 
he was cast off on the naked shore while he was to be blamed. فَاجْتَبَاهُ رَبُّهُ فَجَعَلَهُ مِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ Then his Lord chose him and made him of the righteous. وَإِيَّكَدُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَيُزْلِقُ وَإِيَّكَدُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَيُزْلِقُ and barely those who disbelieve would almost make you sleep with their eyes through hatred when they hear the reminder, the Quran, and they say, Verily, He, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is a madman. وَمَا هُوَ إِلَّا ذِكْرٌ لِلْعَالَمِينَ But it is nothing else than a reminder to all the alamin, mankind, and jinn. So that is Surah Al-Qalam, the pen. That is the that is the translation or commentary of this surah made by uh, Dr. Muhammad Taki Oddin Al Ilali and Dr. Muhammad Muhsin Khan. Uh, they are um, professors of Islamic University in Al Madina Al Munawar. So Al Kalam Surah Al Kalam in this uh, surah. There are a lot of stories. No. First story is that uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is assuring the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he is not a madman. So meaning that he is not one of those who are possessed by the jinn, by the, by the spirits. Hindi siya baliw, hindi siya loko-loko, hindi siya napapraning. Meaning, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala assured the prophet that you are in good health, in, in good uh, mental health. And you are doing righteous good deeds. The next is that uh, The next is that Allah says, says that the Quraysh, those who did not believe in the Quran, they want to compromise with the Prophet Muhammad. Because, uh, you know, there are some fighting, there are some miscommunications relating to religion. During that time, when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is keep on uh, preaching no, the Holy Quran. And uh, the people said that, uh, uh, para wala ng gulo, uh, we should compromise. You, you worship your God, no? You worship your God this day, for example, every other day, and worship our God the other day. So salitan daw salitan. But then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is just saying that uh, this uh, manipulation of the Quraysh, no? It will not. Uh, it will not affect the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, Allah is saying that um, they will be cast into hellfire and they will be punished by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day wherein uh, on the day of resurrection they will be punished and afterwards in the hellfire so another story is that there are there are people, there are siblings in which uh, their father has a, a lot of ano, gardens uh, or his, their father has a garden and it has a lot of uh, fruit bearing trees 
and because uh, this this person is a very pious man he keep on giving the produce of that uh, the produce of that garden to the poor uh, they are uh, they are uh, he is one of the uh, Israelites Israelites so he is not getting in the garden garden however he is giving it to the poor that is why when the father died the siblings as the heir of uh, the father uh, they talk to each other that they should now get the garden and all its produce so it's so happened that uh, namungan na siya, no? it is already bearing fruit and uh, it is time for harvest and these people these uh, uh, these brothers no? they are saying that uh, we will go by night oh, we will go by the morning no? because unahan natin yung mga mahihirap no? we will get all the fruits and we will not give to the poor no? so so no during the morning no? or in the dawn they silently murmuring with each other going to the garden but uh, a night before that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah, sent a fire coming from from the from heaven and the garden was uh, burned so na ano siya na, nasira siya nasunog siya the garden so in this no one of the pious uh, brothers said that did i not tell you that you should say inshallah so this is a uh, knowledge no very saying inshallah no saying inshallah is important our president we don't know what religion he has but uh, i am hearing him saying inshallah no, inshallah this word inshallah is very powerful because it is uh, giving the decision to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in which we are deciding however we are saying to allah that our decision is not absolute and it is allah who will decide so uh, we should say inshallah no we should say inshallah another uh, so another is that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Uh, made the prophet recall the the uh, no? uh, the man in, in the fish no? the man in the fish it is Jonah Yunus alayhi salam wherein Yunus he was uh, commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to preach to the people however the people did not believe him and uh, because of uh, disgust and because uh, he thinks uh, he lacks patience instead of going to Nineveh he go away from it by uh, boarding a ship so in the middle of the ocean there is a storm and you know the the story about that there is a there is a storm and uh, the people said that there is someone here who is uh, being punished by God. And they have this, uh, parang nagpalabunutan sila. No? And it was uh, Yunus, Jonas, Jonah, alayhi salam, who was uh, picked. And therefore, uh, they believe that it is Jonah that is making the uh, weather or the, the wind strong. So they they throw Jonah to the sea, no, into the sea, and uh, a big fish uh, swallowed Jonah, and uh, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that if uh, it will be our will, uh, Jonah will die in the belly of the fish. But then Jonah alayhi salam, he is a prophet of Allah, knows how to ask forgiveness. And he says, uh, subhanahu wa ah, la ila, la ila ila anta subhanahu wa kuntu dalimi. There is no God except you. There is no God except you. And I am one of those who do wrong. I am among the wrongdoer. So with that, uh, Jonah continuously uh, saying it, praying to Allah. And uh, uh, the fish, no? after some time, uh, uh, let out uh, Jonah to an island no? near, the, near Nineveh. No. And Jonah alayhi salam uh, continued his mission to the people about uh, saying to the people that there is God, that uh, there is only one God. No? And they should uh, repent. And the people, no, during that time, they miss Jonah because uh, uh, when Jonah is away, uh, they see uh, a storm. No? There is a black uh, cloud coming. And they all ask forgiveness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, the would be uh, tragedy or storm uh, disappears. And they miss uh, Jonah. And when Jonah came back, uh, they believed in Jonah and accepted Jonah as a prophet of Allah. So, so the question of Allah to the Quraysh, those pagans, is that do you have a book? Do you have a book? You know, uh, Moses has a book. Uh, Ibrahim, there is a scroll of Abraham. Allah gave him a book. No? Moses was given a book, the Ten Commandments of Allah. And Jesus Christ gave. Jesus Christ has the Injil or the Gospel, meaning Jesus Christ sent with a book. And uh, Dawood, David, has a book, and it's called Zabur, or the Psalm, 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 uh, in which uh, it is being read in the, in the churches, Salmo Responsorial, uh, Salmo Responsorial. So those are words coming from Allah given to uh, Prophet Dawood, alayhi salam, to David, may the peace be with him. So the question of Allah to the Quraysh, to the unbel to the non-believers, to the pagans, do you have a book? No? Because they are uh, no, they are uh, misguided. No, itong itong Arabia, Arabian Peninsula. No, there is no prophet there. The, the prophets came from Jerusalem. No. So it is uh, it is a long time that uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala sent a prophet in the in the uh, in the person of uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Just af after uh, after Ibrahim, Ibrahim has a son Ismail, and Ismail has a grandson who is called Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who is the seal of the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that uh, uh, that uh, be that trusted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring the Quran the Holy Quran and uh, the Quran it is now the the last book this is the final testament of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it will not it cannot be and it will not be corrupted by any scribe no because it is being memorized by the Muslims or have they partners then let them bring their partners if they are truthful so uh, the prevalent belief is that uh, God has the God in the Sun or God, there are 360 idols there. No? So uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking for an evidence. Where did you get that? That Allah 
that Allah has partnered. No? So another uh, point is that Shall we then treat the Muslims like Muslimun criminals? No? What is the matter with you? How judge you? So because when the Prophet uh, pro, uh, propagated Islam, no, they are being tortured, no. They are being ostracized by the community. And the worst is that uh, uh, some are killed just because they are Muslims. So, sabi na Allah, ano bang, bakit nyo tinatratang mga criminal ang mga Muslim? It, it is just because that the Muslims are saying that there is only one God. So, ganun din in today's ano, time. In Burma, for example, they are being killed just because they are Muslims. No, there are uh, uh, there are killings, and the reason is that uh, they are only Muslims. No? So Allah is asking them, the non-Muslims, that what is the matter with you? Why are you uh, treating the Muslims as criminals? Then leave me alone with such a belay. This Quran, we shall punish them gradually from the directions they perceive not. And I will grant them a respite. Barely my plan is strong. So this uh, no, Surah Al Kalam was rebuilt in the early, early uh, stage of the revelation of the Quran in Mecca, in which uh, the Quraysh, they are very disrespectful. No? to the Muslims because they are the majority no? they are the majority religion but then Allah according to Allah that Allah has a plan so yun na nga uh, if you will be reading the history of Islam from Mecca they migrated to Medina yung Medina isang city in Saudi Arabia and this uh, Medinan people no? These Ansar people, they accepted Islam. So from Mecca, the Meccans did not accept Islam. And when the Prophet Muhammad migrated to Medina, the people there accepted Islam. So because of that, uh, the Prophet Muhammad wasallam keep on preaching that there is only one God, one God, one God, one God, one God. Until such time that uh, uh, there are some some people who converted to Islam and uh, and they you know and because there is the jihad no? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed that uh, they can fight the disbelievers no? uh, they fight 300 versus 1000 plus 300 plus the Muslims are 300 plus and the non-Muslims are 1000 plus and the Muslims becomes victorious no? Nanalo sila 300 versus 1,000. So, that is, uh, ano lang, spear, spear, ganon, uh, pana, pana. So, they won. 300 won against uh, 1,000 people by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by the will of God. So, afterwards, uh, many, they have this, um, uh, truce nagipagkasundo na yung mga pagans to the muslims no for peace truce for peace and they signed it and there is a truce until such time the Quraysh break or broke the truce and the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has already 10,000 warriors and they enter Makkah without uh, shedding any blood therein 
So, kumbaga, nasakop nila yung maka. Ah, meron siyang 10,000 soldiers. Pero there is no fighting at all. Because uh, Mekan people surrendered. No? Eh, yung 300 pa nga lang sila eh. Hindi na nanalo yung isang libo. How much more na mayroong 10,000 fighters? So, they surrendered. And from that, they live in Mecca, Medina. The Muslims are uh, scattering themselves in the Arabian Peninsula. And when the, uh, when the news uh, came to other regions, for example, the Byzantium, the the other ano, kingdom uh, galit talaga sila lagi silang galit sa mga muslim and uh, na, nakipaglaban sila they fight the romans and they they are victorious against the romans the, they are victorious against the byzantium people no and that is why until now no until now uh, the islam is continuously uh, expanding and uh, according to to statistics Islam is the fast growing religion and it comprises already of 24 point something percent of the world's population <laughs> Ahada.